hello wonderful people how are you all doing welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be making bitter leaf soup yes very simple very delicious you will love this one trust me yes but before we start cooking i want to say a very big thank you to all of you for always viewing my videos subscribing to my channel giving me thumbs up in my videos sharing my videos i really appreciate you all thank you very much my friends if i just seen this channel for the very first time this is a channel trust me that you need to subscribe to you will love it in this channel because in this channel we bring you good and lovely recipes yes please if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button for me right now i'm waiting <laughs> all right thank you so very much for subscribing okay without much ado let's start cooking let me show you the list of ingredients we're using to make this bitter leaf soup all right so these are the ingredients i'll be using to make this delicious bitter leaf soup i have my kukuyam here is going to serve as a thickener to this bitter leaf soup. Here is bitter leaf. I washed this bitter leaf myself. I have a video of how to wash bitter leaf on this channel. I'm going to put the link of that video in the description box of this video so that I can check it out. Dry fish. Salt to taste. This is croaker fish, stock fish, crayfish, branded, multi-purpose seasoning, sliced onions, some seasoning cubes, scott bonnet pepper, Cameroon pepper. This is ogiri ibu. This ogiri gives this bitter leaf soup that taste, that local taste, you would love in your bitter leaf soup. This for me is a must in your bitter leaf soup. This is what catapults your bitter leaf soup to that correct level it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, friends. So let's start cooking. I'm making this bitter leaf soup with beef. I just added my stock fish to it. I'm adding my Kukuyam, I've peeled and washed this kukuyam very well. So to it, I'm adding my onions, multi-purpose seasoning, salt, scott bonnet pepper, seasoning cube, and I'm going to be adding water to it, just a little quantity of water to start cooking this protein and kukuyam. Yes, I'm giving it a gentle stir. I'm going so that everything can mix well. Yes, so I'm going to be covering it for about eight minutes so that our light to do its thing. After eight minutes, I'm just stirring this protein with cocoa yam. Yes, so I just left it for eight minutes so that the water can dry up and our protein will have a very good taste. So I'm adding more water to cook this meat until tender. Yes, so I'm just giving it a stir. I'm going to be covering it to allow it to cook, to do its thing. Yes, and after that, I will check on it again. So at this point, I'm checking to see if the kukuyam is cooked. The kukuyam is cooked. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this kukuyam out from this pot at this point. You can decide to pound it with your mortar and pistol or use your food processor to blend it. I blended this kukuyam with my food processor and it came out very lovely. So I'm just adding my palm oil. I'm also going to check if my meat is cooked at this point. If the fat can drive through, that means it's cooked. So at this point, I add Cameroon pepper, seasoning cube, ogiri ibo, multi-purpose seasoning, dry fish, croaker fish, crayfish. I'm going to keep some for later. 
salt, onions. All I'm trying to do here is to build the stock for this bitter leaf soup, which is also known as minofe. Yes, so I'm just adding water to this pot. Like I told you, this is going to serve as our stock for this bitter leaf soup. At this point, I tell you, the aroma in my kitchen is beginning to send signal around my house. Yes, so I covered it to do its thing. This kukuyam is serving as a signal for this bitter leaf soup. This kukuyam is gradually going to dissolve into this pot of soup and it will make our bitter leaf soup good. So I'm just going to cover and allow it to do its thing. At this point, I'm also checking on it to see how far it has gone. And I'm giving it a gentle stir so that everything can sit very well in the pot. Yes, feel free to use the quantity of kukuyam you want or you like. I usually like to use enough kukuyam in my bitter leaf soup because I like my soup thick on the first day because as I eat it the next time, I like to add water to it when warming it. So you can see this soup is coming up very good. At this point, I'm adding my washed bitter leaf. This bitter leaf is very soft because after washing it, I cooked it down. Yes, so that is why I'm adding it at this point. The aroma in my kitchen right now is very, very good. I need a witness in this kitchen. Can you see the pandedium beside the spots? I'll be using pandedium to enjoy this delicious bitter leaf soup. So at this point, I'm testing for salt and seasoning to know whether I need to adjust or not. The soup tastes so perfect. I don't need to adjust. So I'm going to be allowing this soup to do its thing for two minutes. This bitter leaf soup is one soup you want to recreate. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button for me. Thank you. Our bitter leaf soup is ready, ready to be served. This food, pandemium with bitter leaf soup, delicious bitter leaf soup. Mm. This soup is so good. Oh my God. I love this soup. Mm. Friends, you have to recreate this Italian soup recipe. You will love it. Mm. I'm going to leave in the description box of this video all the ingredients I have used to put this Italian soup together. You will love it, I tell you. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button for me. Turn on your bell notification so that you'll be the first to get my video anytime I upload it. Mm. This is so nice. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. I will see you all in my next video. Keep eating healthy, friends. Bye! Mm.